welcome to another Ideas Space Craft Along at the Public Library of Brookline. My name is Christy and I'm a Reference and Technology Librarian at the Brookline Village Library. And I'm here today in our Ideas Space to show you all how to make your very own faux neon sign using electroluminescent wire. Let's get started. Is this your first Public Library of Brookline to go program? Here's how it works. Each month, the library is offering new take-home program kits, complete with everything you need to follow along and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com to go for a full list of our current kit offerings and follow the link there or visit brklib.com slash eventbrite to reserve yours for free pickup at any library location. Now let's get crafting. Today's project will take most makers about an hour to complete, or a bit longer than that if you choose to create your own design. Here's what you'll find inside this month's kit. Three neon sign templates, three feet of aluminum wire, three feet of electroluminescent wire in yellow, blue, or white, and a battery pack, one roll of electrical tape, two AA batteries, a packet of zip ties, and three feet of twine. From home, you'll also need a pencil and something round to help you bend your wire. I use this wooden dowel and my pencil, but you can also use a glass bottle, an aluminum can, or even the edge of a hard piece of furniture. You'll also need a pair of scissors. Wire clippers aren't required, but if you happen to have them, they'll definitely come in handy. Take a moment to gather your materials and then we'll get started. We've included three sign templates in your kit and rated them from easy to hard. The harder patterns are more difficult mostly because they include tighter curves. If you'd like, you can also design your own sign template. Just sketch a shape on the back of one of your template sheets and be sure not to pick up your pencil so it's made of one continuous line. Then lay your twine over the same path using bits of electrical tape to hold it in shape to make sure it's no longer than three feet in total length. If you have extra twine, that's fine, but if you run out, you'll just need to tweak your design a bit to make sure you have enough wire to complete it. We've pre-measured the template design, so you can skip this step if you're using one of those. When you've chosen the design you want to work with, grab your aluminum wire and whatever tools you'll be using to help you bend it. Line up an end of your wire with the starting mark on your template, then begin sculpting it to match the template. For large curves like this first one on the light bulb template, you can probably sculpt the wire using only your hands. As you work, continuously check the wire back against the template to ensure you're following it as closely as possible. When you reach tighter curves, you can use your tools to help you create a smooth loop. Just line up your wire with the template to estimate the center of your curve, then pick up your tool and press the wire down around it on either side of where you want the center of the curve to be. Once you have it started, you can use your hands to adjust the exact shape to match your template. the end of your design, double check all of your shapes one more time before trimming any leftover wire using your wire clippers or scissors. Now it's time to make your sign glow. If you'd like to see what your wire looks like lit up, you can put your batteries in the pack now for a preview. Your battery pack has three on settings, which you can cycle through by pressing the big round button on the top. Solid, slow blinking, and rapid blinking. You might notice a high-pitched singing sound when your wire is on. That's completely normal. So what exactly is this stuff and what's so great about it? If you're new to electronics, electroluminescent wire, EL wire for short, is low power, easy to assemble, and super flexible to work with. Literally. But how does this stuff work? Inside your wire, there's a core copper wire coated with phosphor. That's the same stuff you'd find in a glow stick. Above that layer is a pair of thin copper wires twined together and wrapped around the core. Electricity flows through all three wires, causing the phosphor to react and glow. Finally, all of that is encased in a clear protective layer, and if you got a yellow or blue wire, some colorful plastic. Another great thing about EL wire, you can cut it to size without damaging it. 
With the light turned completely off, snip off the extra connector that's on the opposite end of your wire from the battery pack. We won't need it for this project. Next, cut a small piece of electrical tape and fold it over the raw end of the wire to protect it. Now open up your packet of zip ties and line up the end of your EL wire with the starting end of your aluminum sculpture with the EL wire on top facing you. Loop and fasten the zip tie around both wires to keep them in place, making sure the small rectangular fastener ends up on the back side when you pull it tight. Don't worry if you have a bit of trouble at first, the first couple are definitely the hardest. Now continue to follow the path of your aluminum wire with your EL wire, adding zip tie fasteners every few inches or whenever you hit a tight curve. Your battery pack might get in your way. If that's the case, simply squeeze the fastener to unclip the wire from the battery pack so it's easier to work with. Light will shine through the zip tie plastic when you're finished, so don't worry about how many you use. But if you would like to black out any parts of your design, you can wrap those parts of the EL wire in your black electrical tape to stop the light from shining through. I'm going to do this with the excess EL wire at the bottom of my design so it blends with the rest of the power cord. We're almost finished. Take a last look at your EL wire and check for any spots that might need some more zip ties to hold them in place. Then flip your sculpture over to the back and one by one tighten each zip tie one more time before trimming the plastic tails as close as you can to the fasteners. When you're finished, reattach your battery pack if you disconnected it and your neon sign is ready to light and display. Thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media using the hashtag MakeYourOwnStory. The Craft Along program is generously sponsored by the library trustees and the friends of the Brookline Public Library. From all of us here at the library, we miss you and wish you very happy making. Bye.